Let me tell you something. That was very teacher S too. Yes, I had a teacher just like that. They, they always lean in and tell you something. You're wrong. Yeah. And then she, under her breath, she says. <laughs> when she backs, that's what she says backing up. I hate these kids. I hate these kids so much. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy to hear more. Welcome back to another episode of Wording is Hard. I have my very good friend, amazing comedian, outstanding writer, and host of his own podcast. Oh. What's the podcast again? Say it. Animation. Animation! <laughs> Mr. Keenan Baker, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, welcome to the show. What up, y'all? How y'all doing? How you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, man. Thank, you? thank you for coming on the show. I mean, you know, I'm nervous. Are you? Yeah. I was nervous. Here's the thing. <laughs> Kenan has a show called Animation, and it's a show all about anime. And it's all, uh, well, not all. It's, it's, it's one white guy as well, but it's, it's like three <laughs> black guys. I did not know that they were going to do like a um, Dragon Ball Z power-up at the beginning. So they you just started to. screaming. Like, like, all right, we're going to go ahead and kick the show. Ah! I was like... Oh, that's what we doing? <laughs> Make sure you check out that episode, too. That, that's, up, that's up right now with Tahir, man. Uh, Amazing show. A lot of fun. And super excited to have been a part of that, man. Yeah, man. I wasn't big into, like, anime until recently. I've been kind of, like, you know, dabbling in it a little bit. But, like, my only reference was really... Um, oh, what is that movie? Uh, Ninja, uh, Ninja Scroll. Ninja Scroll, yeah. That was my first Last introduction, and aside of like Dragon Ball Z and a couple of the shows that come on, uh, Cartoon Network After Dark. Yeah, um, Adult Swim and stuff like Adult that. Adult Swim, yeah. yeah. I said Cartoon Not Network After Dark. Man, mm -hmm. wording is hard. <laughs> <laughs> you can name this whole thing. This, I, I couldn't, it was escaping dark. me. It was escaping me. Hentai. Um, but yeah, I wasn't very familiar with it, so like to jump into that movie which was a very complex movie, uh, made me feel like I was included, man. So thank you. Thank you for that. So how have you been maintaining with the, the quarantine and everything? I've been good, man. I, I'm not going to be one of these people that's like, yo, I ain't just a natural introvert. I'm not. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm just, I, I'm a chill. I'm a chill person. It's like chilling. So in the house, uh, my lady's been cooking some amazing food. We've been on a great diet, been yeah. in good shape. So I haven't put on no real pounds like that. Okay. I've been enjoying it, man. That's good, man. I see that you clean right now. Did you just shave for today or you been keeping... Because I know a lot of people, like even myself, like I will take a shower, but I'm putting right back on what I had on. Like see, my bottoms don't change for three, four days. See, I live with a germaphobe, like an uh, extreme germaphobe. Yeah. That, that right there, mm -hmm. not happening, bro. Yeah. I can't. I walk in the house immediately, get those clothes off. <laughs> no, that I do. That I do. I'm just talking about like if I don't Oh, your inside clothes. My inside clothes, I, I just, I change, I change the drawers. And I changed the tank top, but like those shorts and that too. Oh, we rocking that for three, four days. <laughs> I'll get up and spray that with Febreze before I change into a new shirt or shorts. Like I'm just rock with this. I'll say this: Febreze is better than cologne. Yeah, easily. I'd rather spray for Febreze on my clothes than cologne any day. Mm, I dig that. I dig you that. With me? I feel like you left I, me on that. No, no. <laughs> I, you I, with me and you was like. In the house, I mean, I'm not going to waste my good cologne in the house, right? Now, I will say this. I've probably gone through three boxes or three bottles of, of Febreze because I've been eating a lot of, like, Mexican and bean-heavy food. I've been tearing my couch up. You understand oh. me? Like, I, and I don't have one of those couches you can flip the pillows. Yeah. You got to just, you got to live on that. So oh. I got to, like, I'll rip, let it rip, and I'll go immediately to the closet. Has anybody had to stay at your crib yet and sleep on your couch? Nobody's staying at my crib. We don't do visitors. <laughs> now, while this is going on. I had a cousin come out here. He came out here out the blue and was like, yo, I'm in L.A. I was like, why? <laughs> hey, nothing's open. Like, you got to get everything to go. He's like, yeah, I, I, I see that now. He's like, I went to go see the stars. I was like, nigga, you could have did that on Google Maps. <laughs> you could have did that on Google Earth. You could just look down. Like, oh, okay, the walk goes He stars. came out here knowing the quarantine was yes. going on? Well, the ticket was thirty eight forty nine. Okay, come out yeah. here then. Hey. Round trip. Hey, tickets are that, that cheap? Yeah, thirty eight forty nine round trip on uh, Greyhound. I'll never see the Greyhound again. Ah, oh, nah. <laughs> the Greyhound is, bro. It's ridiculous. The Greyhound might be the worst thing on the planet to ever happen to mankind when it comes to traveling. It's yeah, the worst. It's, it's, I'll take, uh, here's the thing. Greyhound has better seats than Megabus, but Megabus just feels cleaner. To me. I haven't been on Megabus, though. See, I, I've every time I'm on a Greyhound, we always get stopped for drugs. Mm. And then the cops stop our bus. Things happen. I done seen people get jacked off on the bus. You got to stop catching the Greyhound for Tijuana. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what that sounds like. You are a mule. Hey. <laughs> 
Hey, see, Kenny, bring, come on outside and spread your cheeks. We, you know the routine. Shit. <laughs> Tired of this. Every time we see you, back and call. forth. Cough and spread. <laughs> Damn it! They got me again. Got me again. Yeah, man, it, it's been a, it's been a trip, but uh, you know we gonna get through this and we gonna come out victorious on the other side and we gonna I adhere agree. to the rules and we just gonna have some fun while we do it. And that's Let's why we it. here and that's why we got Maya here. Maya, hey, shout out. How you been Maya? doing, Maya? I'm all right. Okay, you been reading or uh, preparing for this? I've been doing a lot of reading. Okay, and anything else? A lot of Netflix, a lot of bad British TV. Okay. Bad British TV. See, she still hasn't figured out how to push those glasses up her nose, but you know, <laughs> there's still time, guys. There's still time. And for everybody that always says this, listen, we block shoot these episodes. We might shoot four today. I bring shirts because I'm like in the front, but Maya's like, I'm, yeah. She wasn't even supposed to be in the show at first. So stop asking, do she change shirts? Yes, she does. She just don't change it while we're shooting four episodes in one day. I just had to say that, Maya, because they was like, what's up with that blue and black shirt Maya always got on? I'm like, they don't get it. Thank but you. I, you Thank will. you. All right, so real quick, this is just how the game works. Uh, just for those that aren't familiar with it, we have five index cards right here. Each card has a very difficult word, word on it. Damn it. You already messed it up. I was, I was <laughs> doing so well for how, most of the show. How you mess up the word word? Cause it, it's gonna know, be a long man. day for your ass. Already, man. Godly. <laughs> we got five index cards with five difficult <laughs> words cool. on them. Uh, <laughs> He's dropping the ball already, dog. <laughs> Is it hot? Is it hot in here? Anybody? Is, is, is this your St. Louis accent? It is. I, I am country as hell. Okay. I am country as hell. Um, but we're going to try to say the words correctly. Maya's going to tell us if we said it correctly. And then we will also try to come up with the definition. Now, on the back of the card, if you can't figure out the definition just from reading it, you can flip the card over there as a sentence. And hopefully that sentence will give you some context clues as to the definition of the word. So you'll get a point for the correct pronunciation. Pre Pronoun. Pren what is Because I Sound said it, it out. Sound it out. Pronunciation. Okay, none. Pronunciation. Yeah. Of the word. And <laughs> you'll get a point for the definition of it as well. All right? Long night, boy. All right. Since I, as I'm the host, I'll go ahead and go first. Okay. You know, just, uh, just to give you. Nope, I don't want that word. You go ahead and go first. <laughs> How you going to bail on it? <laughs> I opened the door and I was like, oh, that's not who I was looking for right hey, there. Hey, somebody the door for you, man. You want to answer oh, that? Oh, <laughs> man. Okay. Oh, man. This is written in English, but it looks like a Spanish word. I don't know if you've ever encountered anything like that. Is there an accent like mark on there somewhere? It's not, but it's just like, it's just one of them words. Like, you ever try to order something at a, at a, like a Mexican restaurant? You're like... Say that. I'm gonna just point to it. Hey, can I get one of these? Yeah, can I get that one above the Pepsi? <laughs> Whatever that is above Pepsi, that's what I want. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, Parapatia. My goodness, that is correct. Oh! No! Well, you know what I'm saying? I got this word today calendar that I've been working with for like the past month since we started this. I felt his heart beating. Oh, man. I felt, he, he said, yeah, I had to take a deep breath on that one. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest, but it's a lot of sweat running between my ass cheeks right now. If I had to Go guess what parapatia is, uh, it's Spanish for uh, a pair of good titties. That sounds about right to me. Yeah, you're like, oh, damn, she got parapatias on her. <laughs> if it's not, that yeah. should be the new word for it. Yeah, I, I would go with that. It's a pair of read the sentence real quick. Uh, the movie is full of secondary characters. Each of whom plays a crucial role in the Lee's Peripatia. Okay, I was wrong. Cause you wasn't even close. I mean, I, unless they're playing a, a, a role in the Lee's pair of nice titties, which could be depending on what type of genre mu movie it is. Porn. If it's on Spice, then it's, that's that could be the that could be the crucial. X videos, role. porn up. Like yeah. Um, oh, X videos, my dog. Hey, come on. Hey. Oh yeah. There we go. If it, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, so just yeah. Um, the Lee's Peripatia. <laughs> Ah, all right. So I'm going to go with um, rise to victory, or uh, overcome to victory, or some part of a rise to succession. Not necessarily. It's a sudden or unexpected reversal of circumstances. That so like that's a not not a, a succession to victory. That's, that's it could be failures as well. So you're focusing on the negative. 
That's what I'm. I'm a positive optimist, so I focus on what could be <laughs> rather than worry about what might happen. All right. I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm focusing on. So do I? Like you that? got glass half full. Yeah. I'll give you half credit. I'll take it. It's better than no credit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Some that's, of it better than none of it. So you get <laughs> half a point for the definition and a hey, full Kim. point for the word. Yes. So I'm like one and a half up, Playboy. <sighs> All right. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. You, you're good. You my don't... first one's not my name. That can't. No, that don't count. <sighs> that's just so you know what stack to pick up, Playboy. Shit. You got this, man. You got on your shirt. That's your shirt, your merch. You got this, man. Beard is flourishing. You got brown eyes. <laughs> They're hazel. They got They're like hazel. a little bit of green on the outside. Ooh. Light brown on the inside. Okay. I want to get a close-up on those. Talk your shit. All right. <laughs> but here's the thing. <laughs> I got hair. <laughs> Okay. You get a whole lot of gums too. I do. I'm missing a tooth, right? It's a takeover of gums in my mouth. Okay. Right? My gums play takeover for my teeth every day. Wake up! You know what song that is, y'all? Hmm? Do you know what song that is? Takeover? They should. If you're a Jay-Z that was a fan. That was a horrible beatbox or whatever the hell that was trying to be hey, man, a takeover. That's what it sound like. You you do it better with your mouth. Boy, oh, bo, bo, bo. That, that wasn't good at all. At least I gave them. Read, say your word. Uh, all right. Let's, let's go. Oh, he going to fuck this all up. All right. I saw his eyeball twitch. I was like, he either don't know it or he having a stroke. Either way, I'm going to win this round. I'm gonna break it down in threes. Okay. Can Oris. Can Oris. That was two, but. I mean, was it two? Can or us? You said Oris. Let's put it together. Can Oris. Yeah. Bam, y'all! <laughs> Give me that point, baby. Lock it in. Wait, was it really that? Because your yeah didn't sound convenient. You're like, yeah, I mean, I take it. Cunnerous. Oh, well, that ain't the word. That then. is the word. Oh, here we go. Come on, here man. We go. Here I'm, we go. That's, that's my that's my accent. That's my West Coast accent. Okay, that's what that was. All right, let's see if I could uh, get the definition of this. If it was West Coast. It'd be like cannerous, homie. Like that's cannerous West... with the hard R. Okay, I'll take that. I awoke to the cannerous sounds of birds chirping sweetly outside my window. I, it feels like uh, something like maybe like. Like beautiful or like elegant sounds of the birds outside. Yeah, pleasant sounding, melodious. Melodious? I'm glad I didn't get that word. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm glad I got this instead. Melodious is harder than this word. <laughs> Jesus. So he got both of those right? Yeah. So he got two points. Two points to your one and a half ass. Let's get it. I know all words are made up, but this one felt like somebody just did this on purpose. Can I help? No, you can't help. I got this. I'm okay. Do I, I don't get a point if I help him out. Or what do you think this is? This ain't sports. <laughs> if I know the definition to his word, can I can I get a point for that? No, no. you can't get a point for that. Worry about yourself. I got it. Worry about yourself. All right. No, thank you. <laughs> Worry about yourself. Um. You saw it already, though. No, I, didn't, I didn't see it. Oh. Well, mind your damn business. Yeah, well, you hide the word from me. I probably can't say it either. Listen, man, I, the only person I need to know if I said it right was her. And, and if she go with it and it's wrong, then you won't know either. All right, uh, I'm going to go with, see, I don't, it be tricky with O's. <laughs> like vowels, because you don't know if they short or, or, or long until you say it wrong. And yeah. people, like, you say it wrong, it's your first time saying it. People are like, he's stupid. I'm like, it's my first time. Ain't nobody good on their first time. Basketball, sex, Crack, nobody is cool and calm <laughs> on the first time. You ever done coke? No. You, you would not, freak out on your first time. You nostrils, bro? Yeah, not it would happening. be a very expensive habit for you. You should <laughs> never do that. You just water bottle right now. Man. Nah, hell no. Nah. All right, here we go. Uh, Radamonte. <laughs> yes. What? I just, be, I just be playing sometimes about, like, how nervous I be. That sound like some that sound like some pooty tank shit. Why the mata tie? Why the tie? It did. Mata tie side. Why the tie? I ain't want to tell y'all. I peed a little bit when I said it. That's how nervous I was. What the hell? This ain't pooty tank. <laughs> hey man, don't don't be tripping, bro. Just let me live my life. 
I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what this is. <laughs> I'm sick of this. I'm, oh, I'm sick of his best of everything, Radamante. Radamante yeah. is a uh, collection of, uh, it's like, uh, it's like, it's a, like, uh, like a rant. What kind of rant? Oh, a braggadocious shit. rant. Yes. Whoa! Let me tell you something. Look at it. Look at it. That's me pulling it out my ass. <laughs> he pulled no. that. You damn. You, you, you damn right pulled it out your ass. I don't know how the, how the kid do it on the little on the yeah. gym. You be like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I ain't got nothing to say. That's, that's hey. incredible. Hey man, you know I'm just out here trying to live my best life during the quarantine. You know that, what I mean? That's all I'm trying to do. The pressure is now on. Yeah man. <clears throat> I prayed about it. I said, if you win, I, I prayed to God that you get your hairline back. Oh, you know what? Somebody told me to put a uh, Vagisil on my hair. Excuse my me? Hairline. Vagisil is for use I infections. A, I know, but somebody said, if you use Vagisil in your hairline, it brings it back. I heard that from multiple women. Now, they could be just messing with me. They absolutely messing with you. But they keep saying, this, you, why don't you just try some Vag? I, I ain't even buy it for you. I just, just get it on camera. <laughs> Don't, so I, this could be a, I don't know, this don't, is a TikTok spoof thing that people trying to pull on somebody that's bald. If you, if you want to keep your girl, don't do that. All right? Don't do, don't do that one. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to let you know right now, that pasta ain't shit. Yeah. That ain't going <laughs> to <ain't> help <laughs> a damn thing. He lean to the side. Like, <laughs> see, if I, if I, I, if I read from left to yeah. right first and then right to left. That ain't going to do not a damn thing. You know what's funny about this word? I see... Like three other words inside yeah, of it? Yeah, I see the word I'm in there, mm -hmm. and I see the word oil spelled backwards. <laughs> then that's not oil. That's, that's Leo. Malayo. And Ambroglio. No. Ha! Mm. What? Back the, in I said all the words. I said all the letters. I said I-M-B-R-O-G-L-I Ambroglio. The G is silent. Ooh, I'm about to fire on somebody, dog. <laughs> I know. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm about to fire on somebody. The G is silent. And it's, it's, the, silent. it's the most pronounced letter in there, and it's the one that's like, shh, don't tell anybody else. This ain't lasagna with a G is silent? Yo. Real move, <laughs> G's move in silence like lasagna, Lil Wayne? Why you didn't use this word, too? Yo. Jackass? That G snuck in the movies, and you ain't even <laughs> Why would you? Why? Why? See, here's the thing. When the word, when the letter's silent, what's the point? Like honestly, I want to know. And on, in all honesty, what is the point of putting a silent letter in there for? I literally had this question, like on a previous episode, so I looked I'm, it up. I'm sure, yeah. People who create words actually get paid by the letter. So when you create a word and you get it registered, you actually get paid for like the more letters that you use and you have the option to make something solid. Now here's the, here's the caveat though, I'm lying. <laughs> I, just, I just kind of made that up. Let me say, that was convincing as hell too. Like, that was, I, was Maya, like, I, I saw from my peripheral, I saw Maya look around the globe like, shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then she just leaned back and she knew it was foolishness. So wait, how do you say it then? Imbroglio. I said I would have said it like that. In Brolio? And there's a Dragon Ball Z character named Broly too. Ah, shit. Broly. Ah, ah. But he spelled it with a Y. That's how you should have spelled this shit. No uh, G, a Y instead. Why is that? All right, here we go. Definition. Oh, no. Why are you laughing like that one dog? What's that dog from that cartoon? I forgot what it's called. He's he like just all shoulders because he ain't yeah. got no neck, so just all Mus shoulders going. Muttley or uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Muttley. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. The definition is Twitter. Ooh, shit! There's another word in here. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter is. Twitter. Is, oh, Twitter is a fire with flavors. You can say it slow all you want to do that. 
That shit ain't help him at all. I said like I'm trying to sign out the word, but I'm signing out a whole sentence. This is Yo, stupid. They might as well have just put the word on the back of the card as the definition. You know, it's about, you know, James, like, who? JJ. Oh, JJ. 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 <laughs> Twitter is a fire with the latest, uh, I guess, things or trends or something like that, or the latest goings or something. Twitter is a fire with the latest news. No. What, what, so, what it. Well, what sets Twitter a fire? What gets people upset? On Twitter? Yeah. I mean, everything racism, uh,. <laughs> Drama, basically drama. Confused, altercation, a complicated situation, controversy. I can't believe he ain't know that. I ain't know that. But news is drama. Nah, man, you don't get it. You don't get it. Don't try to explain yourself, you're wrong. <laughs> don't you're wrong. try to explain yourself. You're wrong, goddammit. Like just a child just right accept now. it. Accept it like a man. You got a great beard. At the end of the day, you can walk away with that. It's a very nice beard, Keenan. My idea. Please hold my calls. Hello, guys. You might recognize me from hit shows like Wording is Hard. I am uh, to hear more. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you guys about Blue Chew. Now, why should you know about Blue Chew? Because, guys, at some point, things will change. All right? Remember the days when you were always ready to go? I mean, at the drop of a dime, you were ready to get it going. Well, those days don't ever have to leave, thanks to our good friends at Blue Chew. That's right, Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Now, what does that mean to you? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. That means that you can take it anytime, even on a full stomach, day or night. And because it's chewable, it starts working up to 30 minutes faster. <laughs> well, you can't beat that with a stick. But you can try. <laughs> Guys, I'm here to tell you, there's nothing better than Blue Chew because it ships direct. Well, what does that mean? That means that we have our own online physicians, licensed physicians. That means no more long trips to the doctor's office or to the, to the pharmacy, people looking over your shoulder, invading your privacy. Where's the six feet? You no longer have to worry about that. You go online, you talk to the online physicians, and they will ship that directly to your house in a discreet package. And Blue Chew is made in the US of A, which means because it ships directly, it's probably cheaper than going to the pharmacy. <laughs> this is a real smile. Guys, I'm here to tell you, you need to take advantage. And by taking advantage, I mean you need to go to bluechew.com. That's right, blue like the color blue, B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com. Go there right now and go ahead and get your first shipment for free. All you have to do is use the discount code WORDING. That's W-O-R-D-I-N-G. And all you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. How's that sound? Fantastic. I know it does. <laughs> I'm a professor. I'm not a professor. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to the next word. See, these be those tricky words because you don't know what that T doing. Because sometimes T won't make the t sound, it'll come with the sh, right? So you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta, I gotta take my time with this one. This is I prom hope, night right I now. Hope whatever you guess, it's the opposite. So I hope if you guess that it's silent in there, it's not silent. I mm. hope if you guess if it is silent, I messed up. I forgot what I, which one I said first. See that? Because yeah. the devil be busy. <laughs> but God is always on time. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm I'm going to go with vitiate. Yes. I'm on fire today, folks. I'm, now, listen. I'm going to tell you this. This shit never happened. I'm going to say, who have you beaten? I, I, I literally have been reading. I have been reading a lot. That's what it really is. It's not just reading. You have to read aloud. I've been standing in front of my daughter who is a teenager who will humble you. Children will humble you. I messed up on some easy words. She was like, that's what you really think that is? And I was like, uh, so vitiate. Um, if I had to guess, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's the proper word for like when you're surveying or you're looking at something, you're like, oh, I'm just looking around. You're like, nah, I'm just vitiating. It sounds like officiating. I see. 
Gotta open up your third eye, King. You, you, you pointing at your third eye right here. <laughs> your third eye is right here, ain't it? You're, it? I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. It's, it's around right in this area somewhere in the uh, penal gland area. See, I mean, I could listen to you, but you just got everything wrong on the last round. I did. So I'm gonna just... <laughs> Vitiate, brother. <laughs> Vitiate to your third eye. <laughs> All right. Some fear that the superintendent's decision to reinstate the students would vitiate the, uh, the, vitiate the authority of the principal who suspended them in the first place. Oh, okay. Uh, vitiate is to belittle or... Um, what is it? The little or undermine. That's what it is. Yeah, I couldn't think of. It's like power. It's something under undermine. So the little undermine. undermine. Yes, undermine. I don't correct. like that Maya's on your Ooh, side. That's she, what I don't like. Maya is never on my side. <laughs> Do you understand? Today she saying? is. No, she's not. She's just on the side of right and wrong. Maya is never on my side. Okay. I've had Maya hand me a bottle of water. And this was her, this one right here. And I was like, yes, she took the top off, poured the water out, <laughs> and then handed me the empty bottle of water. Maya is never on my side. I don't want you to get that mis mistaken, okay? Uh <laughs> and then I was like, well, why would you pour the water? She was, she, this is her response. You just say, hand me that bottle of water. You said, hand me that bottle. Touche, Maya. <sighs> Go see here. It's a new day. Well, a new round. Let's go. Oh. See, you know what's funny? I. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like, I don't know a lot of Z words. I know baby seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I never had. I know zebra. Right. Zoo. I know zoo. Mm -hmm. I know zephyr. He, but you're shaking your head like I was about to say about to say where I wasn't supposed to say xylophone, but that's with an X, right? Yep. Okay, yep. but it sounds like a Z, so it, I put it in the Z family. Yeah, but after thirty, you shouldn't still, you shouldn't think that. <laughs> <laughs> Just let the whole laugh out, man. I Just let it out, man. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you holding that I hold gas my ass. I hold my laugh and my sneezes. <laughs> my sneezes like tss, tss, like that. The bad thing about it is, I do a lot of audio books. Yeah. So even if these words are said, I won't know how the hell to spell them. <laughs> this is so true. I went through three audio books in three days, like long ones. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm out here reading. My girl's like, that's not the same thing as reading. You know that? I was like, man, shut your don't ass. Don't tell up. her, don't downplay your compl I mean, your accomplishments, bro. Exactly. I got, yeah. through, I got through three books. I didn't. Re I got through them. All right. And I didn't realize that it was gonna hinder me like this. Shit. Zot. Mm-hmm. That's it. Go with that. Zybeline. Zybeline. No. Did I have it right the first time? No. <laughs> I had it wrong the whole time. <laughs> it's not Zybeline or Zybeline. It sounds like you speaking clean eye. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> Zybeline. Uh, I get that. It short eye. Odd, yeah, it's a short Zib eye. Zib Zybeline. See, it can sound like an E. That's the E right there, Zib. If you put, if that was the E, I would say, I would have said Zibbeline. Oh, you would have. That's not how, no. No, Z would have been Zibbeline. Eh, I, eh, 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 eh. So what about right here? The, the word is, you see where it says line? Mm-hmm. How come it ain't eh, eh, eh right there? Hey man, well, I didn't make the word. Brother. Because that's, that's a vowel and then an E at the other end of a consonant, so it makes it long. Is that the rule? Couldn't remember it. <laughs> the second gown is more structured, uh, uh, a more structured design of either silk, zibeline? Zibeline. <laughs> the second gown is either more structured, either a more structured design or either silk, zibeline, or silk, taffetia. Taffeta. I'm blaming audiobooks. That shit is stupid. Hey, audiobooks, come holler at me. I'll take the deal. <laughs> come, come on, Audible. Cut me a check, Audible. I got you. <laughs> a silk. You know that word. <laughs> I think we all agree that you know silk. That's, that's not the word that's, that's giving you trouble. It's that other word that's flicking you off. I wouldn't even say it again. Say that I, nigga, I, I, I wouldn't even say it again because I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. 
<laughs> I ain't never seen a word just cripple a man in a sentence. He's like, I see Silk, and then the other words like, I wish you would say my fucking name. <laughs> I, yeah, it's just true. I've never feared a man in my life. I've never feared a, feared a person. I don't even really fear animals like that. Did you that. say feared at first though? I might have said feared, feared. <laughs> but fear. Oh, 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 this word right here has me nervous to say this. They, I'm skipping over it. It's like design either a silk or silk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, this is tough. Um, a silk uh, rough pattern, like a, a either a rough pattern. Or a, 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 silk is soft though. Shit, that's all. I, that's all I got from that. I'm I'm confused because they're both. If it didn't say silk, zipper line. I want to give you this. Just any. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Maya show this much compassion for anybody. You understand? The fact that she broke characters like. Nigga, nigga, I'm I want. I want to help you so bad. Whatever, man. What is it? What does this mean? <laughs> it's a type of fabric, um, wool that can either be mohair, alpaca, or camel's hair. I would have given you if you had said fabric. I would have given that to you. I said. I said. You said Hard rough. design, rough no, design. Yeah. That is a fabric. Nah, fabric could be rough. Sandpaper can too. But that ain't a fabric. <laughs> I'll go to the next word. This is stupid. <laughs> I've never felt smarter <laughs> on this show. Like, there's no slight to you. It's just, it's actually a big up to me because that word in their calendar, man. <laughs> Shout out to the dollar store. <laughs> I see, now I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it I right hope here, you so. do. Oh, Look at you doing the, doing the devil's work. You keep saying, keep doing the devil. You, don't put, stop putting that root on me, man. Hey, man, I pictured the devil being bald with a nice beard. So, <laughs> right now, you fit the description. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm looking at my mouth, man. I'm like, <laughs> trying to sound it out. So like, you say it to yourself sometimes, and you like, ah, oh, that's stupid shit, that gave me here. You gotta say it later. Oh, trust me, I know. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with you. All, all the words that I said sounded wrong as hell. <laughs> I didn't say this word one time confidently to myself. My brain was like, what? I Every heard, time I said it. I heard him whisper these words, and he, it sounded like he said the same word <laughs> over and over. I put different emphasis on it. Um, this one I don't know. So I'm just going to go with the... Uh, Nomothetic. Can you say that again? Nomothetic. Yeah. Oh, dog. Neither of those O's are pronounced like O's. Yo, I'm out of here, yo. <laughs> I'm out of here. What? Where? Where is? <laughs> He's looking to see where, where it comes from. Where to go? Where to go? <laughs> what part of the region of the world was that word in? I would tell you what, bro. I don't. I don't have the. Sl I can't even come up with a bullshit definition for this one. He's. He's. This is the sixth time he said. I'm just gonna throw some shit out there. I'm just. Man, I am swinging for the fences. <laughs> Sometimes you have these days. Now, next episode, I'm probably going to get every word wrong. But I'm going to take it on the chin like a champ because I don't know it. These are literally words I don't know. That's how the show got started. Because I can't speak. <laughs> Just I mean, you sound like Cookie Monster for sure, but shit. <laughs> you ain't got to be mean to hurt. I have to. to. That's all I got right now in this episode. Still got a great beard. And a great beard. Um, Explanations are probably probabilistic. And usually incomplete. Uh, this is an explanation of a, of a felon. A, like a felon that has that committed a felony? Yeah, because it's like a crime. Problematic and it's, and it's incomplete. No. Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't care because I I did I I had nothing. You understand know me? I had, I'm at the cash register with somebody else's EBT card. I done swiped and I didn't got the pin number. I have nothing. I don't have no, what, what, is, what does it mean? 
It's an adjective relating to, involving, or dealing with abstract, general, or universal statements or laws. No. Yeah. No. Never using that word in my life. Yeah. Okay. But see, no problems here. No problems. I will Bad watch this episode over and skip over my word right here so I never have to hear this fucking word again. <laughs> it's dumb. There's already a word for abstract. There was no need to create this word. None. Dumb. And I'm done. This word is as long as the cue card. <laughs> it feels, there's no space on the cue card. This is stupid. You want me to help you with it? I've been pretty good at it. Man, get out my face, man. Go <laughs> sip your little water. Hydrate yourself, whatever you gotta do. I've been pretty good at like, saying things today. <laughs> All right. To a conversation. To a conversation. No. The G is pronounced like a J. <laughs> I, I, I've, said oh. no, I've said on episodes before them G's be tricky, bro. I oh. Know. Last one was silent. This one is an imposter. It's, it's, it's a lot, man. I don't trust G's, man. That's why I never live by the G code. The same old G? To be the same old Because it's silent. Well, it's only the if it's like a Spanish J. It's more like a <laughs> Like Javier. J. So I had all 20 other letters of the word right, but the G wrong. Let me see the list. It's a lot of words. It's a lot of letters in that word. <laughs> hey, that word got to take two cars to the party. <laughs> uh, what's, what's, the, what's the, how you say it? Tergivestation. Woo! Tergiversation. Tergiversation. Station. I apologize. Tergiversation. Tergiversation. Wait, am I saying it wrong? Will you keep repeating me? I, I initially said ter tergiversation, but it's tergiversation. So you were right in everything except for the G. His tergiversation. Station. I said it wrong again? Yeah, you came in really hot on that one. I did. I was confident too. Yeah. I was cocky as hell. His tergiversation. Hope you felt that spit. Suggest a mind uncomfortable with either a Western or Eastern identity. Identity. I got nothing from that. His emotional identity suggests that his mind is uncomfortable. No, no, I can't give that to you. Cause I said two things that one of it might be right and one might be wrong. Well, that and neither one of them was right. I mean, as why, I was, why, see, let, let me tell you something. She went, ah, well, maybe there's a possibility, but she said none of them were right. She gave, she it to gave me hope. Like an encouraging teacher is supposed to. <laughs> she went, ah, possibly. That, that like, was a possibly response. She was like, Kenan, you can still pass if you apply yourself. <laughs> I purposely said two different things to try to get the definition to try to get some points here. <laughs> what does this shit mean, man? It's the evasion of straightforward action or a clear-cut statement. So he has no clear identity or belief. The lack of an identity or belief. These words have an attitude problem, okay? Don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. When you see, when you... You wanna try it again? <laughs> Response when, somebody's, on... when somebody's confidence is gone, this is the face. I came in here like, I'm, I'm crushed here. I watched a few episodes, I'm like, I'm, I'm about to smash. Easy, it's nothing. I'm getting destroyed. We might have to put like a mature rating on this one. Like, <laughs> like can't be under 17 to watch this shit, cause this is gonna make somebody wanna drop out of school. Okay? What the fuck am I trying for? Am I really the worst? No, no. I'm the bottom? No, nah, you good, you good. I'm at the bottom of the total pole with this shit. Now you be at the bottom of the barrel. But you on the bottom side of it. You like everybody else is inside the barrel. You on the bottom side, like with the On a crevice go. that nobody can even mm -hmm. see. They don't get no light down there, so you'll never grow. You're the foundation of the barrel. Oh. Huh? Positive thinking, and you have a great beard. <laughs> <laughs> now here we go. Ah. Uh, Ooh, that motherfucker made me hit my shoulder up one time. I had to hit him with the, ooh, that's cold. Okay, uh. 
you got two consonants that are strong consonants right after each other, you be like, why y'all do that? But sometimes, like that D, I've learned from this show and other things, that D kind of gives you like a kind of J sound too. Oh, so you gotta, you okay. gotta be, you gotta be like, I'm learning, bro. Why can't letters just be what they are? I'm gonna go with obdurate. No. I was kidding. Ha! <laughs> Let me see. I came in hot. I was loud and wrong. You know what's funny? I probably would have said the same shit. Obdurate. No. Okay. Uh, uh, I would have said the same both times. So I got nothing for you to hear. Obdurate. Rat. Is it E solid? Obdurate? Obdurate. Obdurate. So it's not even an R A T E, it's a right. R A T, man. Fucking solid E's, bro. <sighs> solid letters, man. See, we in this together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abdurat. lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have made it difficult for the legislature to get anything done. I'm gonna go with stubborn. Correct. Mm. You know what the it is? I'm out here live AF. Real NS word. Kids be watching this shit. <laughs> you got this, man. Here's your comeback chance right here. You got one word left to knock this out the park. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you're, a fucking, you're a jerk, dog. It doesn't matter how you open or how you start. Man, it's how you finish. So let's finish strong. Man, it's not hot. What? That ain't a good sign. This sounds like something that I might eat. For something I, I for surely eat. Something that is moist at times. <laughs> something that is man's best friend or man's greatest accomplishment whenever he gets it. Did he get vagina? Is that his word? Puissant. Correct. That is correct, Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about yourself? Huh? I got tears in my eyes, man. <laughs> How you finish, champ? It's all about how you finish, man. It's all about how you finish. <laughs> what'd you, <laughs> what'd you think that means right there, Flip Boy? Well, all the things I stated up front, I don't think it's that. <laughs> I'll tell you that shit. The article was written by one of the nation's most respected and puissant advocates for the rights of minorities. Man, these sentences don't be helping your boy at all. You understand me? Like prestigious type, like, 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 yeah, most respected, most prestigious, most res. I won't say respected, respected again. again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she didn't hear me the first time. <laughs> respected, respected, respected. Most respected and yeah, uh, pr like prestigious advocates of our rights, or most re yeah. I keep wanting to say respected again because that's, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> Not quite. It's powerful, strong. Woo. So Maya's gonna hand us the cards. I'll let you choose first, whatever one you want. All right. You guess at the same time, you're gonna go, you go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. And then uh, she's gonna time us, and then uh, we'll just go from there. Okay. So Maya, when you ready? Now. My economics professors, Ligoria can be frustrating at times, especially when he deviates from the topic at hand. Under 10 seconds. Did Lagoria. I, did I say it right? You said it right. And you did it under 10 seconds. I was going to pick that card. You should have. That's why I'm very upset. That sounded like you an know, easy it ass was, it, it was a card closest to him, and he came over to grab my card. I was like, all right. Because I was just like, this doesn't seem right. I feel like I'm being set up. Like I'm being I, set up. I just knew I was going to mess it up. When I saw that word, Lagoria, I was like, oh, I'm saying it wrong, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> because I did. 
So I've already had a few sentences that were hard on my regular cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is extra credit. This one got a little extra spice on it. They put chipotle sauce on this one. It's smoking. Right, let me make sure that it's the right way up. All right. Let's set that down. Cool. Although hyper hypernesia is a great plot device in movies, people who suffer with the condition can be at a severe disadvantage. Yes. You know yes, Keenan. The way you said yes makes me think that you were rooting for him. And she was wanted... probably. She's like, man, this is sad. Not in a good way. In a sad way. Like, damn. I was in college for a long time. I won't tell you how many years, but it was a long time, damn it. Okay? I went to like three different colleges. A JUCO, a black college, and back to a Cal State. It's a lot of education. I promise you, I'm better than this. In that time, he obviously missed every English class <laughs> and transfer, so it's not his fault. I actually did well in English. That's the bad part about it. A lot of A minuses and B pluses. But it's not gonna show today. <laughs> do we get graded? Do we get graded too? Yeah, we do. Oh, shit. All right, Maya. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and deliver this verdict. Let's start with our guest. Yeah. Keenan, you would have to repeat this as well. <laughs> as well? Like geometry, Maya? This is at least geometry. You have failed. 50. It's not too bad. Out of a hundred. I mean, is this not graded? This is not graded on a uh, on a curve. Half full. Just two people. We don't need no damn curve. You're supposed to grade on the curve when scores are low. But his score wasn't low. Just yours. Oh, there's always that one kid in class that messed up the curve. To here is that one kid in class that they want to mess up the curve. You want to get a ninety when we all got thirty. I ain't get no ninety. Yes, yeah, you did. I got I got a ninety. Yeah. Nigga, we made it. This is terrible. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, Keita Baker. You have restored my confidence in myself. <laughs> it only took 14 episodes for it to get here, but it's back now. Woo! Man, that was a good time. Keita Baker, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out his podcast, Animation. Animation. Uh, super glad to have you on, man. Thank you so much. So Thank much you for, for having coming. me. I feel like I was set up. but uh, No, <laughs> man. No, nah, man. No, nah, I had a... I had a great time. I had a great time. Um, you know, I had to make the game fun, so I, I purposely messed up. Uh, Zibbling? Is that what the words you were looking for right there? Is that the one you purposely messed up multiple times? See, it sounds like Maybelline, like the makeup. I should have just, oh, I should have went with that. Yeah, man, that's what that's, 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 But man, look, we are here every week, man. I appreciate it. Keenan, you got anything you working on you want to tell the people about real quick? Um, yes. That's man. been another episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Uh, I do that to everybody. Nobody knows it's coming, but I do it to everybody.